Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort. I hope you guys are having an absolutely awesome day. And what we are going to do today, guys, is something super, super scary. I'm not really looking forward to getting into this episode, okay? I'm just putting it there on the table. I'm not really looking forward to getting into today's episode because what I'm going to do today is show you guys the footage of Nico Bellix's ghost. And then we're going to go and find the ghost for ourselves. And I'm not too sure exactly what's going to happen in today's episode, but I know it's going to be scary. So before we get into this, it it would mean a lot to me guys if you could press that thumbs up button just below this video let's see how many likes we can get i'm not going to set a like goal but if we do smash like a thousand two thousand three thousand likes that would just be absolutely amazing the support we have got lately has just been amazing so thank you so much for that but getting back into the video i have to be honest literally over the past few weeks i've been getting thousands and thousands and thousands of comments from you guys all asking me to do this episode so let's get straight into this and the footage actually comes from the king the one the only Marco Pagan, the person who cracks so many insane myths in GTA 5, and he has been exploring Nico Bellix's house a lot lately, and he came across something extremely scary. Nico Bellix's ghost, and it wasn't just any old ghost. He was driving a car, and he was trying to run over Marco Pagan. Now, what I've done is reviewed the footage. I've taken the exact time, weather condition. I've also taken the day as well, the character, the game save, everything else like that. I'm making sure everything is the same and we're going to do what he did in today's episode and part of me is not looking forward to getting into this so if you guys go and check out Marco I will leave a link to him in the description below make sure you guys go and subscribe to him he's actually like a thousand subscribers away from a hundred thousand subscribers and today is his birthday all right so if you guys could actually go and subscribe to him below I just remembered if we get him a hundred thousand subscribers on his birthday that would be insane I remember hitting a hundred thousand and it was the best feeling ever so if we could get him that on his birthday then and that would be amazing guys go and subscribe to him just below right now and if we get a hundred thousand on his birthday that would be insane but let's get straight into this and i'm just going to roll the footage first and then we'll get straight into this and find the ghost for ourselves, guys so enjoy the footage and i will see you guys in just a few more seconds So yeah, it's pretty damn scary. He was literally just walking around the entire house and all of a sudden he found Nico Bellix's car and it tried to run him over. Now I'm totally unaware of the fact that there was a ghost car at Nico Bellix's house and part of me wants to believe that Rockstar Games might have secretly added this in as some sort of random event or something once they realized we knew it was Nico Bellix's house. Because I gotta be honest, I was a little bit skeptical about this at first. I was thinking to myself, how could he have done this or set this up himself? And I only thought of one specific method that he could have done that and that is to set an autopilot of a vehicle so let me just show you guys an example you get into a vehicle it can be any vehicle on the street you go on to vehicle options and you can actually go down to auto drive uh, so if I were to do auto drive, I could say go to waypoint. So if I set the waypoint over there, for example, I could go on to vehicle options, auto drive, go to waypoint, and it would drive over to that waypoint. And it would follow the roads, I believe. Yeah, is it going to follow the roads? Yeah, it would follow the roads. It would use it like a sat nav. Uh, or you can just set a speed to go in a straight line. You can just make it go in a straight line. So if he were to set this up, for example, guys, and I'm not saying he did because it would have been impossible, but if he did set this up, it wouldn't have gone around in circles and targeted Marco in that video. It would have just 
just left the house, taken the road, and gone over to wherever the waypoint was set to, which is why I'm convinced by this sighting. You just have to read his comments to understand that loads and loads of other people have done this and found this for themselves. So there's a reason why I haven't done this video yet, because I am genuinely scared about doing this. But this is Nico Bellix's bar, for those of you guys who are wondering. This is the bar he did run before he was taken out. If you haven't seen it, I will leave a link to it at the end of this video. I recommend you guys go and check it out, because honestly, it is pretty insane, this entire easter egg. But basically, when Nico Bellic was in GTA 5, the time before we even played this game, he ran at this bar until someone stormed in, most likely Trevor, took out Nico, and that was the end of that. And there's a few of the easter eggs trailed around the game about this entire scene we never actually got to see with Nico Bellic. And there's loads of easter eggs to do with Nico Bellic in GTA 5 as well. But a bit of proof to show you guys that he did run this bar and he was taken out is this. You can see there's a handprint here of someone who was hit and turned behind him like, oh no, I've been hit. And you can see he tried to crawl all the way over here. You can see there's a few more handprints here. There's two over there. There's also one on the side of this as he went to the floor. And there's also this pool of blood going around here. Footsteps, footsteps, and blood around here. So what we can assume is that the door was locked, he couldn't get through, so he tried to get back around, and he was taken out inside here. Now, there's a huge easter egg behind this. Once again, I recommend you guys go and check it out. And because of this easter egg, we were then able to figure out exactly where Nico Bellix's house exists. So let's go over to that house right now, guys, and let's get straight into this. Yep, I think I do need to put headphones in. Let me change the time backwards again. Because I don't think we're going to have enough time. Let's go back to 9pm and let's go over to his house. Oh my days. If we actually see the car and if the car tries to run us over, I'm going to be so done. I'm going to hide under this desk. Just letting you guys know I'm hiding under this desk if that happens. Like I'm not even going to try and get away from this car. I'm just going to hide under the desk and just let it do its thing because... Oh my days, I don't handle these things well, okay? <laughs> I've done a few of the mysteries in GTA, a few of the easter eggs like this in the game, and honestly, they are horrible. They really are, guys. So, let's go over to the house. Oh my days, yep, whilst we're going over there, I'm putting my headphones in. It's happening, guys, it is happening. Oh gosh, everything is so loud, everything is so loud. Oh my days, I'm also using Michael as well, and I think, is that his house? No, that's not his house. Where's his house? His house must be over... There, maybe? I'm not too sure. It's somewhere along here. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going along. Yes, that's the house. That's Nico Bellix's house. So, when he arrived here, he actually saw Nico Bellix's car in the driveway, which was really strange. Like, I I've never seen that happen before. And Nico Bellix's car, it is actually in the game. You can go and recover it for a mission for Simeon, I think. I'm not too sure. You, you go and recover the car, though. That's, that's how the mission goes down. It's a pretty awesome mission. And it has the number plate for Nico Bellic. But I can't see the car here yet. It's currently 5 past 10. And what day is it? It is currently a Sunday. I need to make sure it's a Thursday. And now it's Thursday. It should now be Thursday. And we'll keep the time to 10 past 10. Yep, it's Thursday, 10 past 10. We're also using Michael as well. 100% game save. And the house... The house was somewhere down here. I think it's right there or something, right? There, somewhere around there. Yeah, it's right opposite that. Oh my days. Guys, whilst we wait as well, I just wanted to say I do live stream on Facebook basically every single day. I might be doing a stream tonight. Uh, we're doing Fortnite and GTA. We did a huge GTA zombie stream. So if you want to go and check us out and watch us live, click the link to my Facebook stream in the description below. There we go. It's now half past. It's half past. Let's go. Let's go. You oh. <laughs> that scared me. No, I don't want to help you. Just run away. Don't shout, please. I'm keeping my ears peeled for noises, not screams. Okay, there's the house. I can't see the car. Maybe the car will spawn in, though. Maybe it'll spawn in as we explore the house. I can't see the car yet. I think those are our tire tracks. I, th I hope so. I hope so. Okay, so there's owners there. They were shouting at me. Apparently, these owners aren't too nice. These are the people who li now live in the house after Nico Belli. Okay, yeah, they are not nice. They are not... Do you want me to get the law on you? They are not nice at all. They do not want me here at all. What? What? They actually... Oh, my days. Okay. So... They really don't want you at the house. They really don't want you here. This isn't like any other house. If you decide to go into any other house, this does not happen. <laughs> I put my old man in the hospital. What the heck is she saying? She won't be a problem anymore. So on the porch, you can actually see this to pick up. And then if you take a look around here, you will find Nico Bellix's poster. 
and the dartboard from the only place where there's a dartboard on the map, the Yellow Jack Inn. Which for some reason doesn't actually appear on the map when you're over in this location. I'm not too sure why. But this is the dartboard from the Yellow Jack Inn. And this was originally Nico Bellix's house, which is why the car would spawn around there. I'm just hoping I see this car. By the way, guys, my headphones are really loud. I can literally hear everything going on. If we see or hear anything, I'm gonna hear it. Oh no, I didn't set the weather to foggy! Oh, there's a bush! I thought that was his car! I thought that was his car, but it was a bush. Oh, the owners are back. It feels like I can hear footsteps behind me. Like, that's what it feels like, guys. It feels like someone is walking behind me. If I just turn around and Nico was right there, I'd be so, so scared. And oh my days, I thought that was his car! I thought that was... <laughs> Why did I park my car there? I thought that was his car. I genuinely did. Nico, show yourself, man. That that howling does not help at all. All I can hear are creaks and howling. And the occasional car going by. That's so scary. It's like coming from the swamp or the hill or something. days. I thought that was footsteps. That's the fan. Now that doesn't sound scary at all. Like everything about this house just feels scary. The owners don't want you here. It's got a fan which clicks and creaks. And you can hear a howling in the background. And the house itself looks so run down. And so far no car. I'm going to have to end the video here guys. Otherwise we could be walking around here all night. And uh, that's going to take a long time to do. It's already almost 1am, we've definitely gone past the same time Marco was at, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask Marco exactly what he did, and hopefully we can try and find this for ourselves. but at least I could show you guys some footage of what's happened to him when he was exploring Nico Bellix's house. So, I'm going to end the episode here, guys, but if you did enjoy this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, and of course, I recommend you press that subscribe button just below this video, so you don't miss out on all some stuff like this on a daily basis. And if you want to see me do anything else in GTA 5, comment it in the comment section below. It can be an experiment, idea, anything you want to see me do, just comment it in the comment section below, and if you have seen this ghost, if you have encountered this ghost at Nico Bellix's house, let me know in the comments section below and let me know exactly what you did because I know quite a few of you guys have already encountered this. So hopefully we can find this ourselves. but even so, this is just insane. So thank you so much for watching guys. My name is Nort and until next time, stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.